Cumate is an intravaginal progesterone releasing device for use in cattle. Its main purpose is for synchronizing estrus, treatment of anestrus, and treating cystic ovaries. Cumate is designed for cow comfort and offers a unique reload system that is cost effective and environmentally friendly. We intend to demonstrate to you the procedures for the use of Cumate. Reproductive programs should be implemented in close consultation between the veterinarian and the farmer. The main purpose of Cumate treatment is to get cows in calf on time. Delayed calving results in lost days in milk. This is Cumate. Cumate consists of two treatment pods that deliver the progesterone. A wishbone carrier system. The pods have a unique gill shape designed to maximize progesterone release. The pods are attached to the wishbone and after use they can be detached and discarded. The tail is also removed. This means the wishbone can be sanitized and reused. The wishbone carrier system is designed for cow comfort. It has two S-shaped arms designed to flex while in the vagina. Cumates are designed so that new pods can be attached to the wishbone carrier for reuse. Procedures for inserting and removing Cumate devices are very important. Here is the applicator used for inserted Cumates. To load the applicator, slide the moving outer barrel into the backward position to release the applicator jaws. Also ensure the applicator plunger is in the backward position and hold the applicator as shown. Note the hands position that are used as the applicator is loaded. Maintain retracted position by holding finger grip and scraper in one hand like so. Thread the tail of the applicator into the keyhole groove and now place the applicator in a vertical position. Drop the Cumate device into the applicator jaws. Like so, squeeze the jaws closed and slide the barrel forward into the closed position. The loaded applicator is now ready for insertion. The handle is conveniently designed to act as a scraper and a hook. To insert Cumate, apply veterinary lubricant to the tip of the applicator. Wipe the vulva with a paper towel. Insert the applicator through the vulva lips in an upward and forward motion. Turning the applicator into the horizontal position and guiding the applicator well forward into the anterior vagina. Push the plunger to release the cumate, then withdraw the applicator. Ensure the tail is protruding as shown. To recap insertion, apply a veterinary lubricant, wipe the vulva clean, insert applicator through the vulva lips in a forward upward direction and guide the applicator into the anterior vagina. Turn the applicator so the cumate is in the horizontal position. Ensure the applicator is well forward in the anterior vagina up to the cervix. Release the cumate from the applicator by pulling the fingers towards the palm as shown so that the cumate is placed well forward. Do not withdraw the applicator until the device is fully released. Withdraw the applicator and check the tail is protruding as shown. In heifers or smaller cows, the length of the protruding tail may be longer. If the tip of the wishbone is visible after insertion, the device has not been correctly inserted. Remove and reinsert the cumate. Heat detection systems such as tail paint and the use of other hormone treatments like prostaglandin and estrogen are used in conjunction with Cumate. To remove Cumate, grasp the tail and using firm, even pressure, pull the device. As the tip of the wishbone emerges, pull in a sideways downward direction. This enables the pods to emerge one at a time, avoiding a flicking action as the device is released. It is normal for cumate pods to be coated in mucus. Mucus is essential for distillating progesterone from the cumate pods. It is normal for some mucus to appear cloudy. Animals have been examined after treatment and this cloudiness disappears within 48 hours in the animal after device removal. With cumate, there is an option to reuse wishbones. After removal, shake off excess mucus, place the used cumate into a bucket
This removes residual mucus from the pods, making them clean to handle. Place the cleaned cumates on a suitable surface and remove the pods and tails from the wishbones as shown. Wash the wishbone in hot alkaline detergent at 65 degrees centigrade. A typical milking machine detergent is suitable. Scrub wishbones. Wishbones should be visibly clean. Dispose of any wishbones that are not surface clean or damaged. Allow to dry and store in plastic bags away from direct sunlight. For reuse insertion programs, take the used Cumate. Wash as before with a high pressure hose. Soak devices in a veterinary sanitizer for 30 minutes. Allow to dry. Store the cumates in a sealable plastic bag ready for reinsertion. The reloading procedure must be carried out in a suitable clean environment. Protected clothes and gloves should be worn. Place the washed wishbones in a suitable container and soak in an approved veterinary sanitizer for one hour. Wipe down and disinfect the bench top with 70% alcohol solution. Each tray contains 20 pod pairs and 20 tails. Load the pods onto the wishbone arm, twisting the pod down the stem as shown. Ensure the wishbone button is secured into the comb of the pod and securely attached as shown. Attach the tail as shown and snap home. Assemble the reloaded cumates and place into the plastic bags. Seal the bags, double check the batch number and expiry date and place into bags. The reloaded Cumate devices are now ready for use. Cumate is a cow-friendly system for achieving improved herd reproductive performance.